Hi, this is Nicholas Forrest from Art Info Australia. I'm here with John Denton of uh, Denton Court Commercial, who are uh, uh, being responsible for the new Australia Pavilion uh, at the Venice Biennale. Uh, so perhaps uh, if you could just explain a little bit about uh, the approach you've taken with the uh, new pavilion. Well, I think um, on, from, two, from two aspects. One, the pavilion itself. We talk, we talk, we, we've taken an approach which says you, want, you just want to make a... We wanted to make a white box inside a black box, a white box that was just a completely free space for the artists to do whatever they want. So we didn't want to, we didn't want to compromise art, the art space and leave it completely open to the artists. Mm -hmm. The second side of it really is, is in rebuilding we were able to take advantage of changes in the gardens and reorient the building so that it is much more visible from, from the um, bridge over the canal and from the other, from the, the, the um, Biennale areas on the other side of the canal okay. and get much more exposure so I think it'll be, um, it'll be much better seen in, in, the, in the gardens. Okay. So were there any specific influences with this building with regards to Australia or...? Um, not specific. I mean, we, we made a, a decision to clad the building in South Australian black granite. Okay. Um, so that that we 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 part, we've done lots of we've done a number of buildings in Australia where the, where the, the stone is processed in Italy, mm -hmm. in fact, quite near Venice, right. and then comes here. Okay. We like the idea of actually sending the stone from here to be processed in Ven in near Venice and used on the building. So it's we, we, it's an Australian clad building. Okay. Um, but uh, apart from that, no, it's more just about simplicity of form and um, and, 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 and having a strong strong sort of clear character in the gardens because it's, it's a very competitive space with all the other buildings around. So okay. you, want to, you want to be seen. Right, okay. So I mean, uh, in, in terms of the building itself, uh, what do you think it, it represents in terms well, of its design? Well, I, th I think we had, all so we had all sorts of ideas about, you know, about it being sort of timeless and being, being clear and, and strong and so, that, you know, it's Australia was seen as a, as, as a sort of a strong and confident, strong and confident. Right. Um, but at the same time, we wanted it to be slightly enigmatic because we we think that's also a, a, sort of a character of Australia to be sitting in, in amongst all these other pavilions, old pavilions, you know, the old German pavilions and British and French and all these pavilions, right. which are big old pavilions, mm -hmm. to put this new kind of box that you're not too sure what it's all about. Right. Uh, it sort of gives a sort of a, a, a sort of an enigmatic character to the thing. Fantastic. Awesome. To do. It's a fantastic building. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you.